three, each part governed by a different leader. They sit around a round table with a massive pizza in the middle. However, this pizza is yet to be topped. And today they're discussing which topping is the best topping for this pizza and the type of topping that the world needs to eat. I think that the pizza should be topped with lots of meat like pepperoni and ham and sausages and minced beef. Oh, how wonderful. No, 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 we can't have that on pizza. Instead, we should be putting vegetable toppings on this pizza, such as spinach and onions and uh, well, sweet corn and uh, peppers and uh, mushrooms and, you know, all the other green healthy things. We need to make sure that we are eating healthy. What? I think the pizza should just be topped with chocolates and sweets. I mean, I cannot imagine anything better. Everyone loves chocolates and sweets. That is definitely what should be on the topping for this pizza. The pizza has been listening to the debate the whole time and stands up and decides to have their say too. So surprised by a talking pizza, the leaders stand up and listen in. The pizza demands that the audience decide a vote too. And so the pizza asks the audience, before a decision is made, the set is plunged into darkness. There is a kerfuffle and when the lights come back on, the pizza has disappeared. The pizza is nowhere to be seen. The leaders all look for the pizza under the table, around the space, in the audience, but they can't find it anywhere. The future of the world is uncertain until the pizza is found. If the pizza cannot be topped and shared, then people will go hungry. In enters the pizza inspector, who might be played by a puppet. The pizza inspector puts each of the leaders on trial. They have to stand up and defend themselves and explain where they were at the time of the pizza's disappearance. Me? Ah. I think it was you. It wasn't me. It was you. It had to be you. Me. It was not me. No, I would not steal a pizza. Not me. Oh. In a big gathering. It is ascertained that all the leaders had motive, but the leader who switched off the light must have done it. The finger is pointed at the leader closest to the light switch. Eventually, one of the leaders admits to turning off the light, but not to stealing the pizza. It was an accident. The audience is asked who they think is guilty. A guilty leader is found and the pizza inspector debates what to do. As the punishment is being decided, the pizza reappears. It had just gone for some fresh air. The pizza pauses the scene and speaks directly to the audience. They explain that leaders don't always know what's best, that it's important for that choice to be given to the people as well as the leaders. They ask the audience what should be done. They also suggest that sections of the pizza be taken to each part of the world and voted for by the people and that perhaps the toppings could be used together too. So the pizza is split into three and each leader vows that people should be free to choose their own toppings, whatever they may be. The pizza inspector thanks the audience for their help and suggests a pizza party. Pizza party! Songs are played and everyone is rejoicing in a unanimous decision. <laughs>